talking to Mr. Whoa, Isaac, what was that? I forgot my homework. Ah. Oh. What's so wrong, Esther? He's for he forgot his homework. He said a word. What's wrong with that? Oh, I just hate when people swear. It makes me so uncomfortable. Everybody does it. Get used to it. You'll be fine. Please, Isaac. It would make me feel a lot better if you would, if you could maybe slow down on your swearing. Maybe. Okay. Gotta go. What can I help you with today? Hi. Um, I need your help. With what? Kids keep swearing at school, and I'm sick and tired of it. I want to stop, but I don't, I'm not sure how. I know exactly what you mean. As an English teacher, I try to get these students to use more self-explanatory words than crude, harsh expletives. I've tried to enlist the other teachers, but no one else seems to care. What has come to? The, what has this world come to? Okay. All right then. But yes, I entirely agree with you. But what can I do to help the students? Well, my niece in Utah has been working on creating a no cussing club for her Sunday school students. Maybe you could create one and spread it throughout the school. That sounds, that's a fabulous idea. Thanks, Ms. Cardwell. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Oh, Esther, you can use something a little better than the term gosh. Okay, Ms. Cardwell. Take this, read it, join it, or I'll find out. Esther, calm down. The only way to get others on our side is to be kind and... What are you selling this time, Esther? Girl Scout cookies? As a matter of fact, I'm starting a no-cussing club. I'm encouraging students to come and join. Would you like a pamphlet? You can get a free wristband for joining and you can come to club meetings twice a month on Wednesday nights. Um, no. Are you so stupid actually thinking people will join? Wow, I'm out of, I'm out of here. Yeah. Esther, this won't end up very good. You know Cody, he's going to be horrible and, and. Oh, Miss Carwell, it doesn't matter. I talked to my parents at home about it and they warned me that students wouldn't like what I'm trying to accomplish. I know that I want and I know that some Point, I will accomplish the task and I'll set out to complete. Cody and his goons can't stop me from that. I don't believe in swearing. It's ridiculous and we need to stop it. Action! Esther, what's wrong? You look really sad. Yeah. Did something happen at school today? No. But Cody Evans is such a... whatever. Esther, when you try to tell others your standards, they don't always like it. Do you know the story of, of Esther from the Bible? The one we named you after? Yes, I do. Well, in order for Esther to accomplish the things she needed to do, she fasted and prayed and asked for the Lord's help. Maybe that's what you need to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Oh. Esther, you look so confident. What if Cody comes back up again? Kara, I fasted and prayed yesterday to the Lord to help me strengthen and stand up for my standards. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Here comes Cody. Goes. Yeah, yes, Cody. And if you are here to bully and tease us, we don't care. We're standing up for what we believe in, and we're not going to listen to what you say. We. It doesn't matter, Esther. Can I have one of those pamphlets? My parents probably want me to go get quitting. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't know why, but I feel like I should take the pamphlet home. Show a few friends, you know. Go ahead, Cody. Spread it throughout the entire school. It feels nice having the absence of swearing, doesn't it, Kira? You know what? I re it really does. And now that Cody has quit swearing, he's been so much happier and joyful. No bullying here. No more bullying. And all because of courage, fasting, and prayer. And it was a great idea from Miss Cogwell.
Good job, guys. Jen. Oh, no. I am. Dog pile. Pile driving. Dog pile. It's me, my leader. Dog pile. Stay off of it. Dog pile. Get off of it. Get the money. Get the money. It's all Get off my guy. Somewhere in there. At her. Pile driver. Let's go, Sid. Thank you. And cut.